Lord, I want to join other colleagues in appreciating the President for nominating you. I've also read the recommendations of the NJC. And my Lord, I want to say that we look forward to a robust judiciary under your leadership. Uh, my Lord, having said that, since you assume uh, the position of acting chief judge, I have listened to some of your remarks as it relates to the reforms in the judiciary. Uh, my Lord, I want you to share your vision as it relates to justice administration, particularly in the areas of practice, direction, rules, and procedure. If we can share that with the Senate and Nigerians. Uh, my Lord, closely related to this question is something you've touched on in your explanation earlier on. I will reframe the way I have couched the question. Uh, Mr. President, uh, sometimes about a month or some few weeks ago, uh, alluded to uh, appointing more Supreme Court justices. Uh, you mentioned to us here that you might not be averse to that position, but for the fact that the infrastructure that will accommodate those who are appointed is not available. Uh, my Lord, my question is, uh, given the fact that most of the appeals that come from the Court of Appeal across the entire country, uh, the Supreme Court is just one. In the Court of Appeal, you have a lot of divisions across the entire country. All of the appeals emanating from these divisions come directly to the Supreme Court. So you have loads of work, and you are just 21, as you say. Will you accept that more justices of the Supreme Court be appointed if you have the necessary infrastructure to accommodate them?